Howdy y'all. Today's video is going to be based on my Medium article called Illuminati Doesn't Understand PragerU. So this isn't going to be a normal response video where I list clips. Instead, I will mostly just go over the points. But if you would like to see her whole video in context, I will leave a link to it in the description. Before we get on with the video, please go follow me on Medium, share my articles everywhere on social media, and give each of them 50 claps. Now let's get on with the video. For those who don't know, Illuminati is a YouTuber who formerly made Reddit entertainment commentary videos, but has since moved to commentary on businesses, organizations, and public figures. In the past, I've made criticisms of one of her videos, and that would be her video on the Salvation Army. She often makes broad strokes of judgment and is ignorant on the nuance of situations and bases things with her modern standards of morality. And of course, she does the exact same thing with PragerU. The first comment she makes is that PragerU has anti-LGBT messages. To my knowledge, I can only think of one instance in which PragerU has made a statement that can be classified as hyperbolic and homophobic. This was on Facebook, and it was when same-sex marriage was made legal in all of the United States. That was the only time. The issue of same-sex marriage was, and is in many cases, still a hot-button issue for many people, predominantly on the right. This is not something that will change overnight. Same-sex marriage has only been legal for a little over five years in America. None of the videos by PragerU are homophobic or transphobic to an outrageous amount. The ones talking about trans people are saying people should not be forced to use certain pronouns, that there are only two genders, that trans women should not be participating in women's sports, that trans people should not be in combat positions in the military, and that kids should not be transitioning. All of these positions are not transphobic. The only position that could be considered transphobic is that trans women should not be allowed in women's bathrooms. The other point Illuminati tries to make is that Candace Owens compared being trans with schizophrenia. This is taken out of context. Owens compared it to someone claiming to be the opposite gender to someone with schizophrenia saying they are Superman and being forced to refer to them as such. Candace Owens says that she does not want to be forced to say the opposite pronoun of a person's sex. Now, if someone like Blair White is called he, it's ridiculous in my opinion. You could even say it is transphobic a bit, but it's not as bad as Illuminati tries to make it out to be. Trans people have only been heavily talked about in the last 10 years or so. To expect everyone to be pro-trans or not to be transphobic to at least some extent is ridiculous. Next, Illuminati says that the SPLC warns that they have extremely worrying things to say about African Americans, aka they are trying to say that Pricker U is racist because of some of their presenters. They say this through indirect association. For example, Dave Rubin has had Molly Nux, a race realist, and Paul Joseph Watson, a conspiracy theorist, as guests. So instead of saying that associating with someone can make you racist, they're saying now that indirect association with someone who associates with a racist will make you racist. So not even direct association, but indirect association. What the f***? Having someone as a guest does not mean that you support everything about them or what they say. It's called journalism. The other point she tries to criticize Dave Rubin on is him saying, I have always condemned violence that has come out of Antifa and Black Lives Matter. You can't use violence to get your political ideology. So without question, I condemn the violence, but that does not mean that the good people that went there to peacefully protest, they're not evil and bad. 
At this point, Illuminati says that Dave Rubin is holding Trump supporters to a different standard, but he's not. If anyone is holding people to a different standard, it's her. Most of the people outside of the Capitol building did not support the breaking in and were condemning the violence. Those people were peacefully protesting and did not break any laws. She continues to slander Dave Rubin and in turn Brega you by saying that Rubin is promoting white supremacy. Rubin has not done that. There are things you can criticize Rubin for, but things like white supremacy promotion is not one. The next points I had a problem with her saying was that she says redlining still exists, however there is no significant evidence that it does. She also says that there is systemic racism. Again, there's no significant evidence. She also brings up mail-in voting being secure, that PragerU is not being censored, and that PragerU denies global warming. There is actual evidence to show that mail-in voting is not secure. PragerU is actually censored and there is censorship of conservatives slash right-wing people. And PragerU does not deny global warming exists. PragerU only says that global warming is not necessarily caused by humans to a great extent and will not be catastrophic. The human cause is debatable, but global warming being catastrophic is not. No climate scientists say that global warming is or will be catastrophic or world ending. All in all, Illuminati's original video is garbage. This is just another video that Illuminati is just ignoring other people's views and spewing out things that have been debunked for decades. Illuminati, why not actually listen to the other side for once? Also, stop calling people racist when they aren't. That's it for this video. As I said, this was based on my article originally, so if you liked it, please give it a like, and of course, go give my article 50 claps and follow me on Medium and share it everywhere. And if you really like my content, please consider donating to my Patreon or to my Ko-fi. Do all this and I'll see y'all later.